if you are trying to log in your alipay account to a device and you are getting some prompts like enter your china bank card enter your bank card enter this enter that enter this all these type of things displayed on the screen then this video is for you okay in the video i made about paying your supplier on 168 without an alipay account someone asked a question in the comment section and the question is if i want to set up an alipay they ask for chinese bank account to verify an id you have any idea how to proceed so i i, I now told the person to give more options like in the comments you can see my own comment there can you give more details the person now said after i tried to log in via sms they asked me to bind a chinese bank account don't think that can be skipped so you are seeing the reports right so they are asking the person this particular person to enter or to input his chinese bank details and we all know that foreigners or those outside china like some of us don't have the chinese bank card so what we do in this case and for practical case i will demonstrate with this my Alipay is logging to a Samsung device, Samsung device, but I will log the same Alipay into this particular phone, this Redmi phone, so you understand what I mean. You know, practical is the best way of doing things. Also, if you understand something, this thing is happening because of security. You know, someone, if logging, logging into a new device is easy as that, someone can just hijack your Alipay account. I know what that means. You end up losing your funds. So it is is a is a welcome development or thumbs up to Alipay for such security system. Later in this video, I will show you how to log in your Alipay to laptop also, laptop your PC also later in this video. So keep watching this video and don't skip any parts. You know if you skip a part, you might get confused. So if this is your challenge, I got it covered. And please, if this video is helping you, do well to smash the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe. Let's go. So the first thing to do is on your old device, old device, that's the one you have your Alipay in currently. Go there. Click on me. You are seeing this, right? Click on this me. Then when the me comes, go up. Click on click on the settings. This settings icon. When you click on it, account and security. And this account and security now wait for it you see login password login password enter your login password sorry click on login password when you click on login password allow it to load you will be landed to a, a a security test so once you you see something like this click on change now for some you will require sms otp before this why some you will just be passed so when you get here enter the password you want after you enter the password, after entering it, click on save. Once you click on save, the password will be saved to the system. If you don't have access to your old device or you are not even changing to new device yet facing this issue, I get you covered somewhere along this video before the end, I will tell you what to do. Okay, so on your new device, change this, first change it to, to your country. Let me say Nigeria. If you are in Ghana, change to Ghana. So when you change, change to your country, sorry. Input your number. Click on next. Now when you come here, this is the trick. Don't use login via SMS. Click switch method. Instead of login via SMS, use switch method. Then login with password. You are seeing that, right? Once you type your password, so once you enter your password now and click, click on login, click on the login. Once you do this, you'll be logged in. You can see I've been logged in successfully to this new device. To log in on your laptop or your computer, now do this. So head on to your, your Chrome browser, type alipay.com.
alipay.com when you type alipay.com this is the screen that will appear is loading please so when this appears look up you will see something like so quickly log in you are seeing it right look at this follow this piece up follow this piece up you are seeing this quickly login click on it to quickly login when you click on it allow it to load now it will bring something like this it will bring something like this you have to scan this with your alipay mobile app now to do that open your sorry to do that now open your your alipay open your alipay app okay let me open the my put on my account so open your alipay app on this your alipay app now look for scanner you are seeing the scanner here so target it on this barcode target it on the barcode you are seeing it right targeted gotten so now let's look at what happened next now you have to click on this allow the blue background that means allow the laptop the computer and the mobile to pay like allow login in that computer this is permission so i'll click on it i'll click on it yeah that sounds right So once you do that now, you notice you have been logged in. Now if you check, if you check this course again, you will see Alipay name displayed there. Now when you get to some some a place like this, that's after the login, click on this. I am an individual. This individual. When you click on it, allow it to load. Now to see your your Alipay transactions and all those stops, click on this my PayPal. Look at this cursor this is my paypal you are seeing that right it's actually my alipay but due to translation or you can just click this see there is another one here enter my alipay click on enter my alipay you'll be landed to somewhere like this and that's it for that for those that don't have access to their own device or you are not even changing device at all yet facing login issue this is what you should do when you get to this interface after entering your number instead of logging via sms you stick when you still click on switch method on switch method you saw what i did the switch method don't click login with password click more login options then it will ask you if your phone can receive sms that's what it will ask you something like that let's see can your mobile receive text message click yes then wait for the message to drop so wait for it it will initiate a security test when you initiate this security test now look at rec recover login password it will ask you for your password for the password of sorry what am I saying? To ask you for for the last four digits of your passport number. Once you do this, you'll be logged in ASAP. If this video helped you in any way, if this solved your problem, if you like this video, do well by subscribing. Yes. If you subscribe, that means you appreciate. So if you appreciate this video in any way or the other, subscribe and turn on notifications so that when I update this video, this channel with new video will be alerted. Thanks as it do so. Thumbs up.